Okay, welcome to this video on explaining uh, day and night. Explaining day and night. So here we are, lovely little bit of countryside, and the sun is just coming up. So let's speed things up a little bit. We can still see the moon there. Here we go. So the sun's moving around us. The sun seems to be moving around the earth. So what observations can we make about day and night? Well, number one, it gets light and dark and light and dark and light and dark. And the other observation is, well, the sun seems to be moving around the earth. Off it goes setting. And when it sets, we should also see that it looks like the stars go around the earth as well, the stars and the galaxies. In fact, it looks as if the entire universe moves around the earth. So from observation alone, you could think that the earth was the center of the universe and everything spins around us. But a more accurate explanation is that we are standing on a rotating object and this gives the appearance that everything else is spinning. Let's just slow this down a bit. Let's look up into this night sky. Hold on, I'll speed that up and then we can get Orion's belt in. There we go. Orion's belt at the top. These, these three star systems just here. So, we're, we, we're actually spinning. We're standing on a spinning object. And that gives the appearance that the, everything is spinning around us. Now, think about this. If you were at the fair and you're on a merry-go-round or some spinning ride, it looks like the world is spinning but you know it's not. And the reason you know that is because you can feel it spinning. If you're on a roundabout or a merry-go-round, you can feel the spinning. You don't just need to see it, you can actually feel it. However, when you stand on the surface of the Earth, you can't feel the effect of spinning. So it can be difficult to believe that you are. So we're standing on a spinning object. It doesn't feel like we're spinning, and therefore we fall into this illusion that everything else is spinning around us. So, why do we have light and dark? Well, the sun shines its light on half of the Earth, so half of the Earth is illuminated at one point. And from where we are now, imagine we're on a satellite looking back at the Earth, we can say that the sun is probably pretty much behind us because most of the Earth in our vision is lit. So you can imagine the sun being behind us. Now, this satellite we're in, it's in what's called a geostationary orbit, which means it's pointing at one part of the planet. And as I turn the planet around, we will follow one particular part. You'll see what I mean. So let's move the planet around and watch the shadow move across into Europe. And in the UK, in the south of England just here, it's getting darker and darker. So what would we see? We would see the sun going down. That's what we would see as that shadow creeps across Europe and across Africa and it's going to be night time. And now pretty soon that sun is going to be on the other side of the world. So by this point here, there we can see the sun shining on the other side. So it's night time for the UK, night time for Europe and the sun is shining on the other side of the planet. And if we continue that on, the sun moves around the other side, the night time for this side. And we should see it pop out the other side. There we go. And back around again. Now, during the day, you can't see the stars. So where have they gone? Well, they haven't gone anywhere. The light from the sun, white light from the sun, contains a mixture of all of the colors of the rainbow. The red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. You mix all those up and you get white light from the sun. Now, because of the molecules in the atmosphere, the blue part of that spectrum gets scattered out and that's what gives our atmosphere the familiar blue color. Now blue light is much brighter, the blue light of our atmosphere is much brighter than the faint light coming from the stars which are a long long way away. So it prevents us seeing them. So what happens if during the day we remove the atmosphere? Let's see what happens if I remove the atmosphere. There, that's what our, our daytime view would be if there were no atmosphere, so without that blue light. So we can only see the stars at night, usually because the glare of the atmosphere is not, pre not present. So there we are, little, uh, little PowerPoint there, little uh, uh, video explaining day and night. I'll leave you with a final thought. On Venus, a day is longer than a year. Now, can you explain that? Okay, quick exploration of day and night. Thanks for watching.